Signore e signori, buonasera, eccoci a Vigevano con la nostra diretta. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is our 44th episode and we are still in Vigevano, my hometown, in this beautiful room that belongs to my dear friend Mariella. We got the piano freshly tuned uh, yesterday by the great Giancarlo Pedroli, that is one of the greatest piano technicians that I ever met in my life. Fantastic. Giancarlo, grazie mille per Bacco, un pianoforte straordinario. And today is going to be special. Um, I did not announce it because it was something that uh, uh, popped up last minute and uh, we'll have some special guest. Questa sarà una uh, puntata particolare perché avremo un, uh, un ospite a sorpresa e poi vi dirò tutto in seguito e a questo punto penso che possiamo iniziare con la musica. I think now we can start uh, with the music.
Thank you so much. We've got a little bit uh, of an audience here with few friends. C'è un piccolo uh, pubblico di un paio di amici. Abbiamo aperto il programma con uh, un uh, tocco di Cole Porter, with a little touch of Cole Porter. Uh, you'd be so nice to come home to, uh, and of course, night and day. All right. I got an email from uh, my friend uh, Danny Miller, and I would like to dedicate to, to his wife, Mary Schobert, a sentimental song. Here we go with Tenderly. <laughs>
Mary, happy birthday. I hope you enjoyed the, the dedication from your husband. Bene, la canzone che avete appena eseguito è un'altra ballad famosissima che si intitola eh, Tenderly, Immortale.
that was uh, Way Down Yonder in New Orleans. El, el título era Way Down Yonder in New Orleans. Ed ora, signore e signori, uh, ladies and gentlemen, there is something, the first specialty of the day. Uh, first of all, I want to check here if everything is going well. Let's see. Looks like everything is under control. Okay, so uh, especially I'm thinking about all my American and uh, English friends uh, that uh, really never had the, the the opportunity to meet my my parents. I mean. There are many Italian friends that also never got the chance, but uh, I think this is the perfect uh, situation for introduce them officially to my wonderful audience. Allora pensavo che questa sarebbe un'occasione straordinaria per presentare, perché no, i miei genitori al, al, al pubblico, al pubblico dell'internet. Allora vediamo se... eccoli qua. C'è la mamma più bella del mondo <laughs> e il papà più giovane del mondo. The most beautiful mother in the world. Ciao and, a tutti. And the youngest father in the world. Look at them. You know, Ciao. They, they a are, tutti gli amici. Ciao. He's saying ciao to all the friends. Probably you understood that. All right. So I love them very much. They have been... Uh, they still are an incredible support for me. So, uh, if you like what I play, it's because of them. <laughs> Buona serata. <laughs> Mr. Sportiello and Mrs. Sportiello. So, isn't it something, you know? Yeah, is, I've got some friends that they keep remarking the fact that they look younger than me and they are right they are right all right so and by the way i want to also get the chance uh, to say hi to my lovely wife uh, lala that is watching from new york and i think today she was getting together with some other friends uh, uh, to watch this show so betty my friend betty Judy, Evelyn, and Harry. I miss you. I miss you all. All right.
thank you very much. And that was uh, an improvisation based uh, on uh, a really old jazz classic entitled Tiger Rag. E quella era un'improvvisazione basata su un uh, antico classico che era il Tiger Rag, la cui prima registrazione risale al 1917, quindi più di 100 anni fa. Bene, a questo punto eh, vorrei eh, presentare un'altra sorpresa. Abbiamo qui con noi questa sera uno straordinario giovane talento italiano. So tonight uh, we've got another great surprise. Uh, we have here with us uh, an extraordinary young Italian talent that I would like to introduce to all my friends, uh, those of you who don't know about him yet because he's already quite famous around. He's only 21 years old and I know him since he was, uh, I think, uh, 12. So I saw him uh, growing. So every time when I used to come back to Italy from, uh, from New York, uh, we used to get together and it's been a pleasure to see him growing in such uh, an original, very original and outstanding jazz pianist. È stato un piacere vedere questo ragazzo crescere eh, durante gli anni, adesso ha 21 anni, e maturare così in uh, un pianista jazz sensazionale, estremamente originale. Ora vorrei invitarlo. So his name is uh, Giuseppe Vitale. Here is Giuseppe. Ciao. So I would like to I would like to have uh, Giuseppe to play some uh, solo piano for us and then we'll see how things uh, will evolve. It's all yours.
Giuseppe. Stay, 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 stay. Stay here, stay here. Don't leave. So that's uh, the beauty is the fact that when you've got two piano players, uh, then uh, the temptation to play together is always very strong. Uh, and the desire for improvisation. So what did you play? What was it? Uh, it was a song by Herbie Hancock. It's called uh, Maiden Voyage. Oh, wow. So you see from stride piano to Herbie Hancock. <laughs> So you got it all. That's wonderful. So uh, Giuseppe came to visit me at my at my parents' house yesterday, and I played uh, for him a composition of mine. And this is uh, the last track of my new CD. That's it. Is the name of the CD. Many of you, I think, already got it. It's available on Spotify and, and so on. And so I played the tune for Giuseppe and Giuseppe learned it. So we could try to play that song in four hands. Uh, ora vorremmo eseguirvi una, un mio brano che fa parte del mio ultimo CD, That's It. E Giuseppe l'ha imparato al volo, è stato bravissimo. And the title is uh, Tomorrow It Will Be Bright with you.
it will be bright with you, Giuseppe Vitale. <laughs> so beautiful. You know, when I was doing, uh, when I was in New York with Live at the Flat in Greenwich Village, I had the chance uh, to host uh, quite a few extraordinary young musicians in New York City. And now I get the chance to do the same here in Italy. So it's, uh, it's remarkable the fact uh, that, uh, you know, at 47 years old, you are supposed to be a, a grown up. But when I get the chance to be exposed to this kind of young talent, uh, it's like fuel, inspiration, you know? I get the chance to learn myself. C'è l'occasione per me stesso di imparare da un talento così straordinario. E anche nelle edizioni passate, quando eh, settimane fa trasmettevo da New York, abbiamo avuto l'occasione di ospitare at the flat in Greenwich Village eh, un certo numero di giovani talenti straordinari. E, Viva la gioventù perché è l'infa vitale. Si sente spesso dire che la musica è in crisi, la musica sta morendo, ma sono a volte luoghi comuni senza senso, perché poi quando si arriva al cospetto di talenti come, come questi ci si rende conto che la musica non può morire. Eh, è in costante evoluzione. Bene, so Giuseppe will be back uh, uh, a little later. There is another request uh, that uh, I would like to play because uh, I know that uh, my parents uh, are big time fans of Italian music and I found out that also quite of my international friends out there, they love Italian music. So I would like to play for you uh, a tune composed uh, uh, in the early 40s by the Italian composer, pianist and songwriter Giovanni Danzi and the title of the tune is uh, Silenzioso Slow questa è una composizione del grande Giovanni Danzi grande compositore italiano che gli amici italiani che ascoltano ricorderanno che scrisse questo brano meraviglioso al principio degli anni 40 che si intitola Silenzioso Slow che è, è più famoso forse sotto il nome di Abbassa la tua radio, che sono le prime parole del ritornello.
and that was uh, Lullaby of Birdland. So now before we uh, wrap things uh, up, uh, I was hearing my mother whispering <laughs> while I was playing. <laughs> she was... <laughs> She was uh, she was trying to suggest me the next selection. So mentre suonavo sentivo mia madre sussurrare Napoli, Napoli because she loves here she is. <laughs> she loves uh, Neapolitan songs. She's not from Naples, but she married the Neapolitan. So that explains why. <laughs> so I'm going to play uh, uh, a classic, a Neapolitan classic that could be as well a jazz standard because of the, of the form of the song, because of the changes, you know, could be really a jazz standard. But it's probably one of the most famous pieces from Napoli. This is called uh, Anime Core. <laughs> to make your mother happy otherwise she'll stop cooking for you and then I get in trouble <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much uh, for uh, for watching I would like to rem remind you that uh, if you if you enjoy the show if you want if you can there is the possibility to send uh, a donation and you can find uh, the information on the on the description of the of the video and i would like to conclude the concert by inviting back my young uh, very talented friend uh, giuseppe and uh, we're going to end with another uh, great jazz classic this is uh, just in time
Allora Giuseppe lo incomincio e poi tu ti unisci. So I'm going to start it off and then Giuseppe will join. As you see in this beautiful studio we have got we have the, the wonderful Bosendorfer piano that as I said last uh, last week this uh, was uh, uh, our teacher's instrument. I say ours because uh, uh, myself uh, and Mariella here, <laughs> here she is. <laughs> Thank you Mariella for providing the wonderful venue. <laughs> we were students in the early 90s with the same teacher, Mr. Carlo Villa, and this was uh, his wonderful piano. So there is uh, so much uh, uh, significance in all of this and I love it. Grazie Maria. Grazie a te Rosario. Grazie. Grazie.
Catch. Giuseppe Vitale. Giuseppe Vitale. Ciao, see you next week. By the way, next week uh, is going to be another special event streamed uh, again from uh, Vigevano and it will be on Monday, not Tuesday. And it looks like we're going to have uh, other two sensational guests and I'm talking about uh, the great uh, stylist of the trombone, Mr. Dan Barrett and uh, one of the greatest singers ever, Mrs. Rebecca Kilgore. So Monday, this coming Monday at uh, 2 p.m. New York time, 8 p.m. Italian time. Stay tuned. Ciao.